Good morning, everyone. How are you? It is Lori, and I'm here to do your daily reading for you. I am going to get your overall energy, what you need to know from spirit, where you may best focus your attention. We'll find out about your relationships, love, and otherwise. We'll take a brief look into your money situation, your finances, career, whatever focus you have. And we'll see what the overall outcome is going to be. I will also be getting oracle messages. And if I'm called to do anything else, like roll, let or die, um, get you angel numbers, yes or no answers, whatever it is, I'll do at the end. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and start by rolling the zodiac die. Okay. Libras, you have rolled. Virgo, Sagittarius, Leo, Scorpio, and possibly some Capricorn. There is definitely Libra there. Now, if you are new to my channel, I strongly believe that these are the signs in your own birth chart that may be active right now. Um, if you know anything about your birth chart, you'll know more about yourself. And it is possible that these are the people that you are dealing with. Take it as it resonates, okay? Let's go ahead and bring the little chimes and invite in some fun energy. All right, so take the, these are general readings. Please only take the portion that is for you. Do not take on anybody else's troubles, okay? And if you cannot um, clearly identify anything in the situation, in the reading, it just means it's not for you. But you can take any portion of it, or none at all, or all of it. All right, let's go ahead and see what your overall energy is for this message. Also, I plan to try to keep this under 20 minutes, or right around 20 minutes. Three of Swords, who out here is trying to move past a uh, uh, disappointment? That's what I'm hearing. There's some sort of disappointment. Somebody, oh, this is probably tying into yesterday's energy of, you know, a relationship may be ending. Any type of relationship, romantic, job, friend, anything, okay? It's, it's changing, it's altering, it's a disappointment. It's a heartbreak. It's a heartache. Okay. Um, this is your overall energy, where you're going to be at. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what else we've got. So this is not necessarily unexpected, but it's kind of where you've been at for the last few days, some of you. Um, let's see what else we've got here. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know about this situation about today. Okay. What's coming your way? Spirit, what would you like our lovely, lovely Libras, who are so brave and courageous, handles all this stuff, to focus on yourself, okay? Try to eat healthy, try to get some sleep, maybe get out and get a walk or ride a horse, ride your bike, go for a car ride. Do something a little bit different than what you usually do. Take a different route home. Um, or to the gym or to the grocery store. Go to a different grocery store. <sighs> Go to a store you don't normally shop at just to do something different. It will get you out of the out of the blues, okay? It's going to distract you. It's going to take your mind off of the situation and help you feel a little bit better here. So that's what Spirit wants you to know. Taking care of yourself will actually quickly help you overcome this. And I don't feel anybody's like so depressed you're not leaving your house. I'm just feeling like you got this feeling in the pit of your stomach like, oh, I don't want to face the day. I don't want to do this. Oh, I, I just feel so sad. You know, that kind of energy. But once you do something, get up, get showered, get dressed, get out of the house do something different is what Spirit's saying. And that will help you quite, quite a bit. In fact, I'm hearing some of you, this is what you need to know from Spirit, you're going to encounter either a person or a situation that makes you, I mean, just so happy. Immediately, like you just start smiling. You're like, oh, that's awesome. That's wonderful. That is not to say that you're not going to encounter a few things along the way before this happens that makes you go, oh, like me the other day. I was in a really, really 
kind of just funky mood and I just wanted to get out, do something different. And the first place I went into, they were playing Christmas music. My goodness, I'm not prepared for that yet. I realize at least we're in November and it's not July, but here in Florida, <laughs> it feels like July still. It was 90 some degrees or 88 degrees yesterday. So the other day when I went out. Um, so yeah, I encountered that, but it was like, no, I don't have to let that bother me. I'm going to keep going. And oh my gosh, I had the best day after that. Absolutely wonderful. And it was actually just getting out, doing something different, going to a different place. So that's what Spirit's asking you to do for yourself. Look at this. I haven't even moved on. Spirit's saying this will close out a cycle for you. It will help. It's not going to happen overnight. Okay? It's not going to happen overnight. You're not going to end this sadness, depression. It, it, and I don't feel it's really depression. I really feel it's more like disappointment. So excuse me for speaking incorrectly. Maybe there's a couple of you out there missing a person to the degree where it is depression or a situation. Okay? But for most of you, this is the closing out of a cycle. It's over. It's done with. It's time to move forward. This is, they call it a successful ending because it means that you have spiritually, mentally, and physically dealt with whatever this disappointment was or is. Okay, since this is your daily reading here, I'm going to say that this is for the, for the day. So you will be closing out this energy. And Spirit wants you to know that. Okay, so keep the faith. All right, let's go ahead and see where Spirit thinks it might be best for you to focus your attention. Spirit's already said, on yourself, okay? Doing things that make you feel good. Ooh, offering somebody something, and this is you offering something to somebody else. Smiling at somebody, offering a kind word, maybe going through your closets at home and finding something that you don't want anymore. It's, it's actually reminds you of a situation you don't want to be reminded of anymore. And you're going to gift this to somebody that you don't see every day because you don't want to see this item every day. Okay. But you're going to do something nice. You're offering some, I'm hearing stability. And what came through was a vision of somebody who was very, very unhappy. And you smile at them or you say, hi, how are you today? And they kind of look at you funny and you just keep smiling at them in a very nice way. And you realize that your energy is actually going, is changing them. You can see it, you can feel it. And even if you can't, it is changing them for the better. They're going to go home lighter, happier. They could be a fellow Libra who was there doing their thing, feeling exactly the same way you were. But because you offered that little bit of kindness, that that smile, that kind word, and it's not BS, okay? So it, you're not just walking up to somebody and saying, oh, hey, I love your haircut when you can't stand it, okay? Or you know it's a mess or whatever. No, you're honestly saying something that about this person that really, like, deserves to be pointed out okay or maybe you can just feel their negative energy their sadness and you just want to smile at them and just say hey i hope you have a good day don't ask them how they're doing unless you're going to sit there and listen but you can say hey i hope you have a blessed day i hope you have a beautiful day i hope something really nice happens for you today all right, so that's where Spirit's saying your energy is in, um, if you focus on this, in giving to others, showing gratitude for what you have. By, um, I keep hearing ripple effect, okay, ripple effect, passing on some sort of good energy so that um, it can just keep rippling out. Take your focus off yourself. That's what I'm hearing. All right, so let's see what's going on with your relationships here. Oh, look at that. Everything's looking good. In fact, some of you, your relationship just elevated or is about to elevate here. Um, that means you could be going from having met somebody, dated for a little while, into a committed relationship. It could mean... Um, your family all feels like you're on the same page. You're all loving, caring, getting along. It could also mean that you got engaged or you're about to get married or you're about to have a baby or 
or or or it's going to be different for each of you but there is an elevation here in your relationship okay a success is coming through very strongly here too and it comes through learning more about each other okay that's i mean this the six of six of wands it's about learning, overcoming a difficult situation. The five of wands comes before that. So there could have been a challenge, a difficult situation, or you just were in a learning phase with somebody. The five of wands can represent just learning, striving to learn more, improve. Okay, so the six of wands comes after the five of wands. There you are. Successful elevation, successful understanding, a new uh, level in your relationships and they can and they can be any type like you and your parents may be seeing eye to eye for the first time in a long time you and your siblings you and your friends maybe you finally got your dog to sit without you know like losing your mind <laughs> take it as it resonates okay all right let's go ahead and see what's happening in your money career finances investments hobbies crafts whatever it is that makes you feel abundant and prosperous spirit what would you like to tell our lovely libras let's see what we have here for you there it is whoop there it is you guys are a little bit trapped up in your head concerned over money let's see what else we can get here uh, this is a self-imposed prison so it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong it means that you are worried, okay? Usually he needlessly worried. Let's see what else we've got going on here. The Page of Wands. You're afraid of a fresh start. You're worried about doing something different, something, um, you feel like it's not enough. But it's a new start. It's a new beginning. I'm also hearing that some of you may be getting some sort of financial advice that you don't trust. Um, I think you can. Six of Cups represents that unconditional trust that we have in our parents, you know, in friends. We don't expect those people that we deal with to hurt us. So there is some sort of, yeah, look at this. Okay, yeah, you're okay. You can trust this information I'm hearing. Yeah, definitely can trust this information. Um, I also heard another situation here that if you're taking a new job, you're worried that the pay is not going to be enough to um, meet your bills right now. I'm hearing get out of your head and speak your concerns to if you're hired if you're looking to, in a new job speak clearly say i can't do it for that okay can we work something out to where you know maybe we do it on a 30-day trial basis where i get 20 dollars an hour instead of the 18 that you're offering me okay can i have that time at that pay to prove myself because otherwise i can't live off of anything less okay but this could also just be you worrying needlessly about it too so maybe just take a double look at what you're dealing with with your finances i also hear um some of you are crafters okay and i don't mean that in a negative term i mean like creatives okay so you're creating something that you want to put out there in the public you're worried that it's not going to be good enough that you're too newbie at it just go for it Everything will work out fine. All right, let's go ahead and take a look here at your outcome for this reading, okay, for this message. Now, I'm focused on a daily message here. However, this could take a couple of days or it could just be today or maybe tomorrow or maybe it was last week for you because time and tarot are fluid, okay? All right, let's go ahead and see what else we've got here. Look at you. You end on the perfect note, the emperor energy, feeling in control of yourself, your life, no worries. I mean, there's always worries or concerns, okay? But you're not focusing on them because they're not big enough to have, have to have immediate attention. 
So you're able to sit back and say, okay, I'll worry about it when things come up. Right now, life is good. Absolutely. So that's a really good outcome. If this message is resonating with you, go ahead, tickle, tap, boop, or zap that like button for me. Claim it in the comments, all right? If you're interested in a personal reading from me, please just email me, yourempressenergy at gmail.com. And I will send you all the details. Yeah, they changed our channel information. The About tab is gone. So if you just click on underneath every video, there's a thing that says um, something like constant contact. It's highlighted in blue. And then it says see more or five more links or something like that. If you just click on that, that will take bring you to all the information you need about um, my channel at this time. I'm going to have to fix it somehow. I tried to rearrange it so that it works better. All right, so anyways, if you're interested in a personal reading, go ahead and reach out, and I'll send you all the details. 5555 Clarity. There is a great transformation happening in your life in the, mean, in, uh, the near future. Major changes are coming. There will be opportunities. It's going to be fast-paced forward, and it's going to be take time to enjoy the process. You are not a victim of circumstances. Instead, you are the beneficiary of what is happening for you. If that were not the case, life would be pretty dull. You will set yourself up for some sort of success in the long run if you are willing to adapt to the changes that are coming. Everything is going to work out for the best. At long last, you are finally accomplishing what you set out to do. Everything will work out perfectly in the end. Look at that. So you're, I'm, I'm hearing at the end of the day, this is good. You're golden. All right, let's go ahead and get an oracle message here. I'm just going to reach over and pull whatever comes out. House five, passion, play, children, confidence, and creativity. That's what this whole thing is about, okay? Passion, play, children, confidence, and creativity. Now, this is what I'm talking about with the zodiac die. Okay, so you may have Virgo in house five. You can tell from how a Virgo acts how they're going to respond to passion, play, children, confidence, and creativity. I hope that makes sense. If not, drop me a comment. Let me know if you know your birth chart, okay? Fulfillment. Joy abounds in all areas of your life. Yes, you feel how blessed you are. You feel thankful for those things that you do have okay and that's what's going to help you to move past and help someone else i'm hearing a ripple effect here all right one more here we have taste before judging oh do not jump right in and and uh assume you know what is happening what is that about spirit Okay. Oh, all right. I'm going to read you this card. At first, it seems that Rhea Bald Dragon is in the clutches of a nightmarish figure, but everything is not as it seems. The straw monsters in the background are merely a costume worn to honor the harvest. There is nothing but celebration here, as Rhea's relaxed posture clearly shows. First impressions are just that. They come first. We must look harder to see the true picture. Preconceptions often limit our willingness to experience new things, which can possibly be harmful enough. Okay, let loose. However, they grow into full-blown... Okay, let loose. Taste first, then decide. Okay, so everything's not as scary as it seems at first. Yeah, just let things progress. You can let go. You can move forward. You can gain their clarity here. All right, I think we're done. Until our energy crosses again, I'm going to wish you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.